generation. <laughs> Hello, my name is Tina Swunger. My show is Rags to Resilience, and we have a special show. Normally, my show is on Sunday from 2 to 4, but we have something coming up that is amazing. And I wanted to kind of be the guest host because this organization means so much to me. I am Tina Swanger, and this is Family Flavors, the Slide WBN. Um, Right now, I would like to introduce Miss Jen Grubb. Hi. <laughs> Jen Grubb is the producer and editor of Macaroni Kid. She's got an amazing event coming up, and I'm going to have her tell you all about it. First of all, she's going to tell you a little bit about who she is, what the organization is about, and the upcoming event. Then I'm going to inter introduce you to Samantha Sargent. She is uh, the she has a com, uh, consulting company with Connecting Communities, and Samantha is working with Jennifer Grubb. So we're going to find out about her as well. So let me go ahead and get started, uh, Jennifer. Yes. How you doing? <laughs> Great. <laughs> so I'm Jen Grubb, and I am the editor and um, manage the Colorado Springs Macaroni Kid. Uh, we are doing an event May 6th for bringing the community together. Um, I have found that there is a disconnect in the community in the springs and I'm trying to bridge that gap for resources for the community, for families, for underprivileged, for disadvantaged, for handicapped, whatever the situation may be on a friendly basis. Um, the event is free everything uh, we're doing free face painting free parking it's free to get in um, to come in and not have a stressful trying to find therapy trying to find it's all going to be a fun event um, you guys are all welcome to come down it's called find your family fun and macaroni kid is the host on that and we're doing it at the uc health park uh, vibe stadium and it is that's the old sky ducks yes sky Sox stadium, mm -hmm. they rebranded Huge. Yes, so um, come on out and learn more about Macaroni Kid and find your family fun that day. Well, actually, we're going to talk a little bit about Macaroni Kid. I understand Macaroni Kid is, is it a national organization? It is. It is nationwide, but each website is operated and maintained usually by a local mom. So how did you get involved? Um, I have kids ranging from 34 to 6. <laughs> How many? Four. <laughs> All girls. Um, so trying to find things to do um, outside of the home. I was with the Denver Police Department for uh, over a decade and then um, my husband decided we wanted to have kids and because I have the ovaries I got to stay home <laughs> and quit my job. So I went back to school while raising them to become a teacher and I became a teacher for several years and then I would always sit down on the first of the month with a calendar and try to find things to do mm -hmm. to take the kids out get out of the house things that were either free or cheap or or whatever and it kind of was my norm and then I found out about a company called Hula Frog and worked with them for a couple of years it's kind of the same as Macaroni Kid but not well we just Macaroni can actually just bought Hula Frog. So, oh wow. Yeah. So that was a big endeavor. Um, but I quit Hula Frog because there was no support. It was not, it, it just, it was not a good match for me. And um, we moved further south and I saw that Macaroni Kid had an opening for Colorado Springs and I applied and went through the interview process and took it over two, it'll be two years ago, June 1st, basically. So. You know, I just found out about Macaroni Kid. I wish I would have known about it when I was raising my children. I have five sons. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> and ten grandkids, and most of them are local. So I just found out about it, and then I started, I, I found out I was going to interview you, so I was all excited, and I went online, and I started scrolling through everything that you have been involved in that you have developed, that you personally have grown, 
Mm. And it is absolutely incredible. Um, you know, I had a conversation with her, uh, to, with Jennifer, to go uh, to kind of figure out what we were going to talk about today. And I found some out some really amazing things. Um, one of the things that you're really working on is uh, getting more people knowing what your company is all about or, or what Macaroni Kit is all about. Because I wish I would have known. And, well, it's yeah. funny because my husband, um, he's a police officer, and he was talking to a gal the other day, and not even my area, obviously he's Denver, but he was like, you know, my wife does macaroni kid, and he showed her the site, and she's like, why did I not know about this? Mm -hmm. And he's like, it's nationwide. So we go to Key West a lot, and mm -hmm. we'll pull up what's happening in Key West. It's like, I don't want to do the beach again today. What else can we do? Mm -hmm. And, you know, we can go back to my home is Michigan. You know, we go back to see family. It's like... What do we want to do today? Let's look and see the macaroni kids in Michigan, you know. So um, the nationwide part is awesome, um, and then the local part. But it, it does amaze me how many people have never heard of it. And then when they do find out about it, they're like, why did we not know about this? And it's like, that's part of the problem. That's well, that's why we're here. That's why we're here. Well, and that's why you're doing that free event, mm -hmm. uh, find, your fa find Your Family Fun. Yep. At, at the, the Health Park Stadium. The, um, yep, we want to yeah. get people out there to learn not only about Macaroni Kid, but all of the resources that are out there for Colorado Springs, El Paso, and Teller County. And there's a lot of free events. How many events a month would you say there is? Well, I just did on my page, I do a week by week, mm -hmm. and I just did 46 free events for today free? through next Wednesday. Free? Mm -hmm. So, so what kind of organizations uh, sponsor these events? Some of them are through the library, some are through you know play groups or just fun groups or um, it just depends. Some, sometimes it's cookie decorating, sometimes it can be a local bakery, sometimes it can be um, the local libraries. There's a lot of different places on there. Chick-fil-A always does, you know, come meet the cow, have breakfast with the cow. So that's always in my calendar, you know, that's always fun. <laughs> You know, and I have guides. My guides are probably the thing I'm probably most passionate about on my site because it's from me. Mm -hmm. Like, where's the best place to camp with kids? Where's the best place to hike with kids? Where's Where do kids eat free? That's always a good one. Parents yeah. always want to know where the kids eat free, and I have like 40 restaurants mm -hmm. on there, and it's broken down by day. You know, so it's like, okay, it's Tuesday. Where do we go? You know. Um, but the guides are definitely, like I'm working on the Easter guide right now where it'll have every Easter egg hunt, every everything Easter that you can possibly think of. It takes me about a week to get that one done. Um, same with like the Halloween guide and the Christmas guide are always where to see Santa, where can you do photos, where can you, you know. So, um, and most of that stuff is free. Um, there are obviously paid events. There's a couple Montessori groups on there that are uh, priced. There's a couple music classes that are priced. Um, but, you know, nothing ever gets super super crazy I think and if you do um, it's a paid event then it's probably for materials or supplies well it's or usually like a six week course like right. Montessori or music learning or guitar lessons things like that so but the the majority of my events on my calendar um, are free I would say we do I do anywhere from five to 25 events every single day on the calendar oh my god so uh, and I would say <laughs> more than half of them are free events that are going on, you know, local around town. Wow. So. I mean, if you can't find something to right. do. <laughs> if you can't find it on the calendar. You're not looking for. <laughs> well, and I also have recipes on how to make slime, how to make Play-Doh. I've got printables. I've got crafts. I've got family-friendly recipes. I mean, if you can't find something to do on my site, um, let me know. <laughs> right. I'll have to work a little harder. <laughs> so, so this is interesting. Um, I have a partner uh, on my team, and I told her all about the interview we were doing today, and she did not know about Macaroni Kid. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's got five kids. Right. And she was like, oh, my gosh. She she scrolled through. She actually found the recipe for the slime. Oh, yeah. St. Patrick's Day like, slime is yes, up there right now. Yep. Yeah, and and it tells you all about it and the glitter. And she goes, I know my kids are going to get this everywhere. She says, but this looks like so much fun. Outside. <laughs> right outside. But the slime contains the glitter, which is good because I hate glitter. I mean, as a teacher, <laughs> glitter is a nightmare. 
But with the slime, it kind of keeps it all in there, which is, I'm like, okay, I can do this recipe. But <laughs> well, what about the green stuff on their hands? It, it comes right off. It's weird. It, it has its own, it's its own little entity. I don't no get it. It doesn't stick to anything. It, yeah, it's, it's bizarre. I don't get it, but it works. And the kids love it. I mean, they can't get enough of slime. Well, my I have uh, one son here, and and his his son is my grandchild. Uh, I turned him on to it the other day, and he was like, "Oh my gosh, this is wonderful!" It's like scented play doh, like with Kool Aid. The kids love that. Oh yeah, Kool Aid's not So <laughs> so you're doing all of this, and you know this started because you had a passion for your, for doing things with your kids, and you found out that Colorado Springs had a, what do you call it, a chapter or? Right, an open, there's actually a couple. The Pueblo lady just started, so she's going to actually start getting Pueblo up and running, which nice. is nice because mm -hmm. it's sat dormant for a while. Teller County, the gal just left. So I've kind of incorporated Teller County into my web page um, because there's nobody manning it. So I, I don't have an official Teller County macaroni kid page because they'll make me pay for it and I have to keep up with newsletters and all that stuff and I would rather just put all their stuff on my page mm -hmm. so um, so I do everything basically from Palmer Lake to Pueblo Wow and then I have like what is it Cripple Creek to Peyton Teller County so it's it's El a Paso it's a County. huge huge area so you know my goal is to start bridging that gap and I don't know if it's military families and they don't know where to look outside of base or they don't want to go off of base they don't want to make connections because they know they're going to have to move yeah i have not figured out what the disconnect is um if they don't if colorado springs just doesn't do enough community events um but that's definitely not it because we know that that's there right but it's well, like why yeah. you know why are we not in, we, we need to get more people engaged and we need to get more people i mean family is everything Absolutely. And if you don't have that, you know, e even if they're not your kids, if you have grandkids, if you babysit, I mean, nannies, they can use Macaroni Kid. Everybody can use Macaroni Kid. Um, even if, I mean, even if you don't have kids, you can use Macaroni Kid because I have realtors on there and I have lawyers on there and I have therapy on there. I have different. Um, well, let's talk about that. <laughs> okay. You market to families. Yes. yes. I do market to families. Well, in all of your advertisers, um, they have huge exposure. How many people are actually officially a part of Macaroni Kid that, that you currently have? Um, um, over 12,000. 12,000? Families. Okay. So that's a huge incentive for advertisers to come to you and help support your organization. Right. Well, it's a key demographic if you're a pediatric dentist or if you're, I mean, even if you're not, like I had told you on the phone, I've got, you know, two gals that do Mary Kay. Mm -hmm. Not kid friendly, but moms. moms. Right. So the moms are the ones that search the right. website. And veterans have a big place in my heart as well. So I have a lot of like veteran like equine therapy and, and things that they might not be able to find through, you know, for whatever reason. Wow. Uh, you know, so... It doesn't have to just be kid friendly, but the demographic obviously is families. So, and my demographic is like 18 to 65. So, how do you, other than the passion that you have and the drive, and obviously you are an incredibly powerful woman uh, organizing this and and you know making it your purpose? How do you support your organization? And where do you see what, you know, I I know it's advertising, um, but how does an advertiser who is passionate also about your mi mission uh, come to you to advertise and and support your mission? Well, there's multiple... as well as profiting themselves, obviously. Because right. I'm gonna look into it too. Right. right. I mean, there's lots of ways <laughs> to advertise your business on Macaroni Kid. I mean, you can be a sponsor of one of the articles, you can be a sponsor of a guide. I have on the left or right hand page, it's all paid advertisers. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I can write an article about your company. I'm getting ready to do an article for the Broadmoor. Mm -hmm. um, they asked me to write an article, which <clears throat> little no pressure there, <laughs> but um, they are doing the 140th anniversary for Seven Falls. So oh, wow. it's going to be a big 
deal and they want me to write an article for them. I guess they had a bunch of kids come out in different schools and they raised money to do different things. And yeah. anyway, the top kids got this four foot chipmunk that they get to paint and then they're going to put these chipmunks all over oh. Seven Falls. No so you have to go way. find them yeah. and each one will say, you know, this school and why they want it and whatnot. So I get to do a pre pre hike, mm -hmm. I guess, and find all of them and then do a big write up on it. So um, articles is another, you know, great way. And then Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, Instagram. shout outs all the time, yes. you know, are always an easy plug. You and know? I'd like to jump in on this answer, too, because it is always it's sometimes hard to brag about yourself. Oh. Jen is really good online. She knows what she's doing, and Macaroni Kid supports her with the metrics. So if someone says, how many subscribers do you have? Hey, in the first hour of you marketing this post, how many people saw it? How many people interacted with it? She has all those numbers. And the more often you advertise with her, the better your numbers do. So she... And I prefer to share that with my advertisers. It's like, okay, look, you did this for two weeks. Mm -hmm. Your numbers aren't as high as I think they should be. Let's try something else. Let's get a different picture. Let's do this or let's do that because... Because you care about their results too. Yeah, well, it's a win for everyone. I don't want anybody to think, you know, why am I not hitting 12,000 people? I don't know. Let's figure that out. Mm -hmm. And um, and I don't mind. Like My Facegram and Instagram have their own metric system. Yeah. It changes, it seems like, every other day. So I don't know how accurate or inaccurate it is. I'm happy to share the insights and just say, this is what it's telling me. Don't know how accurate it is. My page, I know, is accurate. If I click on, like one of mine right now is um, music, uh, baby on board type of music company. If I click on that and then I go into my back end on my, say, on my page, it'll say, you know, just clicked within seven minutes. So I know if I click it 15 times and I go back, it's going to show me a click 15 times. So I know that my algorithms and I know that my stuff is spot on. Mm -hmm. So I can say it went out in three newsletters. Mm -hmm. My newsletters go out to 12,000 people. Out of those 12,000 people, 9,000 people open that. You know, So I'm, I can be very specific on, you know. And this has got to be overwhelming for you. Mm -hmm. And I think this is why uh, you asked Samantha. Yes. To she, come work with you? Yes, she is the, um, I don't know what you want to call it, the, the brains or the brawn, maybe a little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> yeah, I'm very, very good, like behind the scenes and, and, you know, doing, getting the word out and advertising and connecting. and, and I, But I like to start, like, through social media first. And that drives her crazy because she'll just pick up the phone and start talking to somebody. Right, right. And I'm like, I, I gotta do the warm, you know, I gotta, I gotta ease into. It's like, okay, I, I talked to you on Instagram. Now I feel like I can call you on the phone. And she's just like, just pick up the phone. <laughs> so, um, but we're good, you know. Where I'm lacking, she's super strong. I don't know that she's really lacking anywhere, but I'm, I'm stronger yeah, on the behind fast. the scenes stuff. So, yeah. yeah. So, and we work really, really well together. And since she events is her thing and not mine and I knew taking on this event was way above and beyond yeah. what I'm capable of doing but not her so together you know it's been a great mix so right. far and that's what I can say about any event you can't do it by yourself um, but part of why Jen is so good at like she knew she wanted to do an event what did it take us like three months to decide on to and finally do it. We're at all that stuff. It just came together. You jumped place. into a really big event right we off did. the bat. Yeah, there it's was like little... go big or go home, <laughs> right? right? <laughs> yeah, it, 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 I've done a couple with her already. Like I right. did a, a Halloween one with her, and so we'd already kind of worked together. Um, but I was more, she was in charge, and I was just a a vendor. A vendor, and that's what I was gonna say. Like she, that's why she knows what events are lacking because she's been in them as a vendor. Mm -hmm. And then um, if I was a consultant on this or that, or I was a vendor at some as well, she'd be like, how come they didn't do this? How come they didn't do that? And I'm like, probably because they only have a one-person team. And you cannot do a hundred vendor event with one person. You can, but you're going to have a lot of gaps. You're going to have a lot of um, distrust. You're going to, your communication is going to lack. Like, it, it really is a two to five person job once you're over 45 vendors. Because um, in my own business, once I got to that point, I didn't want to scale further because I didn't want to pay somebody else. Yeah, I quality to, over yes, 
Quantity. And so I just said, okay, I'll just start helping other people. What else, what's already happening that I can get involved in rather than doing from the ground up? And Jen's stuff is already online, so she's just taking everything she has online and put it into this event. The two things we didn't mention about this particular event is um, a big part of it is companies that have birthday parties and places that do summer break and spring break camps. So you'll get the service providers, but now all in one place, there's so many places in Colorado Springs that people don't know about, like Dart Wars and Air 360, which I know you just spent a, couple, or a whole day at Air 360. And um, Jen gets to know these business owners and she talks to them online and she goes in and experiences them and she takes pictures and videos and that's all really good for them. And then they see the value and then they pay for some advertising and mm -hmm. Um, it's been awesome to watch. Eventually, it, what we would pro probably the main reason why we're doing this is to give back to the community, make people aware, and then to sustain it. And the way we sustain it is by encouraging uh, the individual businesses to advertise and, and help get the word out. Because I know for me, uh, the reason why I'm doing a Facebook Live on this is because I have a large reach on, on my Instagram mm -hmm. and my Facebook Live and, and so forth. Um, I've, got one, I've got two different companies plus my personal information that I really want to uh, get out to mm -hmm. all of the people who would benefit from your organization. That's why I was so excited when I had the opportunity to meet with you mm -hmm. to, to go ahead and do this interview. And, and also, you know, expose, you know, my limited uh, uh, ability. So um, one of the things I'd like to talk to you, uh, Samantha, about connecting communities sure. in your event com uh, consulting. Um, when did you two hook up? And then what, mm. what is about, I mean, you know, start working together? And then how did you start your uh, consulting business? And by the way, I'm, I really want to interview uh, you as well and, and also get your name and information sure, out sure. there briefly to uh, kind of uh, also let everybody know that, you know, the more community that we get involved with, the more businesses we get involved with, the more exposure, mm -hmm. the more we're going to benefit each other. It's going to be yeah. a symbiotic it's relationship. It's the collaboration, mm -hmm. not the competition. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I, I am so not about, there's plenty to go around yes. for everybody, and, especially here. <laughs> and the more we work together, mm -hmm. the better off our yes. community is going to be. And that's what Jen kind of mentioned earlier too, everybody's in these separate little puddles. Why can't we just be one big lake and work together? Mm -hmm. um, people, a lot of people think they can do an event, and then when they do it, they realize it's actually a separate job to do an event, Yes. rather than just like everybody has their business macaroni kid is her business to do an event that's why we're partnered together on this so i don't go into macaroni kid and do any of her advertising that's all her <laughs> and you're doing a darn good job trying, i might I'm add trying. this is quite aggressive and impressive mm -hmm. i i was so <laughs> you know i was like you're doing this yourself yeah. Holy miracle. <laughs> Correct me on the numbers, Jen, but I think when you took over, there were about 2,000 subscribers, and over the last two years, you've gotten right. it over 6,000. I think you're at 8,000. Well, I'm at 80. Uh, on a certain oh, platform. Oh, yeah. 81, 8,200 for our free newsletter that comes out every Wednesdays. So these are people that have messaged her and said, I want to get your weekly email. Right. And then social media is on top of that. 6,000 more. Oh, wow. So uh, we want to double it. That's yeah. our goal. Yeah, that our great. goal is to double it. So everybody out there that <laughs> sees this, we want to double it. Get your butt on the website, and we're going to tell you what that website is. It is ColoradoSprings.MacaroniKid. That's for mine. Obviously, if you're in Denver, there's a Denver one. You can, up in the right-hand corner, you can choose Change Your Town, but Colorado Springs dot macaroni kid and sign up for the free newsletter that comes out every Wednesday night I put in all the best stuff that's going to happen in the next week um, it comes out Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. totally free to sign up um, and you get all your information in one place so you don't have to keep looking for it and that's the website mm -hmm. okay what's the Facebook and the Instagram uh, Facebook is macaroni kid Colorado Springs 
Instagram is Mac, M A C Kid, Colorado Springs. And Twitter is also Mac Kid, Colorado Springs. So pretty easy to find. Same everywhere. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, sign up for any of those and like and share. And I run contests. In fact, the next two contests that I'm going to be running, I run them monthly. I always have something. I'll be doing family four packs for vibes. Uh, baseball games. Mm -hmm. Vernando Circus is coming in two weeks, I think, three weeks, giving away a family four pack to that. The Lantern Festival is coming, giving away a family four pack to that. And Ray Alana um, tickets will be going up for to shop with your friends. So those will be tickets. So you'll be giving away four packs. How does somebody register for that? Mm -hmm. On my site. There'll just be a big, this is today's contest or this week's contest, and then I'll have a link. Okay. What do the contests entail? Just their name, their email. So it's like a drawing? Yeah. Or a... I runs usually, I try to run them for a week to okay. give everybody, you know, a fair amount of shot, and then I'll try and say, okay, two days left, one day left, today's your last day to enter. Um, and then can they enter more than once or just one time for email? you get more entries like if it's the first time you've been on macaroni kid and then you like our Facebook page or if you get two more entries if you like I mean you can get up like 36 entries what about sharing? if you like everything yep it's all in there tagging all that yep it's mm -hmm. all in there so you get more entries but I know the lantern festival I'm pretty excited about I haven't been to one in Colorado I haven't so. either and the last one I really wanted to go to so I'm, I'm excited that they uh, they called me and asked me if I'd want to do a giveaway I was like yeah sure Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Fernando Circus wanted to come to our event, which I was super excited, but it's on the day that they're doing two or three performances in Littleton. Oh, wow. <laughs> so she is going to give busy. me free kid tickets to every parent ticket mm -hmm. to give out at our May 6th event. Wonderful. And then, of course, your May 6th event is also on your website. It's also on the newsletter when you sign up. Mm -hmm. It's um, everywhere. <laughs> along with along with the uh, links to the contests and then mm -hmm. uh, information. Um, it, so what kind of advertisers do you have on your site? Right now I have All Aboard Family Music. I have a dance studio. I have um, a realtor. And I have a Mary Kay lady. Little Fins. Little Finn Soccer Shots. Soccer um, Shots is the sponsor um, yep. of our big the, event. They are our big sponsor. Um, there's room for more, but there's they're the ones that jumped on right there. They have great interaction too. They do little games with the soccer balls and they'll get a little bit of an mm -hmm. extra space, a 20 by 20 instead of a 10 by 10, so they can wow. really um, engage and be front and center. Every vendor at this event has to have interaction. A, an interaction of some sort with the kids. So whether they bring a game or um, a contest of some sort or they have, you know, a craft or something, mm -hmm. the kids have to be entertained so that they can talk to the parents because that's important. Let's talk about that, Jen. So when you went to Denver and there was a family event, mm -hmm. it really more so felt like a home show. It did. I went mostly because... I really am trying to get PBS kids at this event. Yes. And they were there. And I had struck out trying to get to the right, right place. So, you know, I went to there to see if I could get in contact with the right yeah. person. Um, but while I was there, they had maybe 60 booths. Mm -hmm. And there were six or seven siding companies. There was like five or six gutter companies. There was oh, no. air, um, mm -hmm. air purifier companies. I'm like, this is not for kids. I mean, this is... This is more of a home, home and garden show, and I, that's why. And this event, there's only two vendors per genre. So, so like you, the max two realtors, max right. two, yeah. yeah. And I think that free. makes sense mm -hmm. uh, because you know, I know when I have participated in, I went to the you know wedding expo. I went right. to home and garden. I went to. Uh, Colorado real estate investors in Denver and I get there and you know there's 30 realtors 30 you know right uh, hard money lenders there's 30 you know right. and the, in the investors and then on the other ones it's like it was it was very difficult mm -hmm. and and not it wasn't focused on Mm -hmm. you know the the purpose for it being there like there was a jewelry vendor at a home and garden show sure. right 
you know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, it's like swag. It was an afterthought. It was whatever. What about um, how many people do you expect at this event? We're hoping for about 10,000. Nice. Yes. That means it is a big event. Yeah, we I can definitely see. handle the traffic. It's mm -hmm. a huge parking lot. I, I would guess there's at least 500 spots. Um, I'd say on average families come for two to three hours. It's a five-hour event. Okay. So there's time for people to roll through. Um, one thing I wanted to finish up on that topic there. So we, we do have a couple of shopping type of mm -hmm. places, but they also have to have an interaction, a nice. free engagement for the kids. Um, because also that gives the time for parents to shop and buy things from them while their kids are, are being entertained. Um, so they'll have more than two vendor, more than two employees per booth so that oh, they good. can give that attention to the kids. So we did have, um, as soon as we had like a window and gutter company register, I was like, don't worry, let me call her. <laughs> because Jen was like, no, no, no. But her application, she filled that out really well. You could tell that she understood this was a family fun event where there was interaction. So they have a mascot. They have a guy that dresses in a costume and takes pictures and dances with the kids. They're going to have the big Jenga, the big um, Connect Four. So oh, they nice. really understood the assignment. And so we did accept one window company. No, that. that's perfect. That is absolutely, yeah. and when it's interactive and the kids have stuff to look mm -hmm. at, and mm -hmm. I mean, that's what the whole event is for. Right. A and, I, you know, I'm looking at the flyer, and this was the first time I saw this flyer. Thank you so much <laughs> for printing these out. Um, and this is all on the website. Uh, I see here we've got free parking, free attendance, free pa face painting, uh, fun, free family fun, free prizes and swag. It is also dog yep. friendly. You can bring your dog. Yes. Yep, for babies. We're pretty excited. We're trying to get a yes. couple canine training companies. One's coming with, um, she has a whole obstacle course for the dog. And you can bring your dog Kids and see if they can get it to do it, you know. Yeah. So we've got a couple of those coming. No way. We've got a couple trucks from Touch a Truck coming, a um, couple police cars, and we've got a big gaming semi that's coming that'll be outside so kids can go up there and play. Uh, play wow. games and hopefully the library district. I'm still working with them. Pikes Peak. Um, we're working with them. There's there's a lot that's going to be there. That I mean. C21. Did you contact them? Yeah, they're all the same entity, so they okay. would just decide which part. We have couple. Yeah, over. we got some massage therapists that are going to have tables set up. Um, so the parents chairs. can enjoy yep. some downtime and then, too. Like the therapies, you know, it's not always an easy subject to. You know, you, you don't want to admit that your kid is on the spectrum or you don't want to, you don't know where to look, you don't want to start, you don't even know how to get tested. Some of those will be there, but they'll also be engaging the kids so the parents can have a very frank conversation. But it's in a fun and non-threatening environment mm -hmm. where you're having to make that phone call and not necessarily know what to say or mm -hmm. who to ask or who to talk to. So we're going to have a lot of nonprofits there. We have probably, what, 15 nonprofits yeah. coming? That are in that next. spectrum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so we have um, an equine therapy, and she's hopefully going to bring her horse and show how equine therapy works. And she'll have her horse so people can get up on it and try. And we're going to have hopefully a petting zoo. And so, I mean, we there's going to yeah. be a lot to do that day. The concessions will be open. That's why I was going to yeah. ask, what about the food, food yeah. and drinks? Yeah, yeah. We, we did pay to have, uh, we will have police on hand, um, not We'll have security and <laughs> the kids can get the cop cars and they can get on fire trucks and they can play. Um, and but we'll also have an ambulance on hand in case anybody you know gets dehydrated or whatever. Concessions will yeah. be open. First aid. And, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we will have. I think we get two or three parking lots around there because we're getting the switchbacks parking lot right. too. So there's plenty of parking. So it's going to be great. What yeah. about um, people with disabilities? Um, it's all. It's all on one level. Yeah, the majority of everything level. is um, when you come in through the entrance, there's about 20 to 30 vendors right in the front. Good. Um, and then as you come through onto the concourse, that will be full as well. We have picnic on the terrace, the kids zone, and then um, we haven't decided if we're going to use the patch of dirt on the field yet. Um, but there's the, the whole stage. stadium seating too, and we have the Megatron, so all of our sponsors will scroll through there. So of course, we'll include awesome the slide on there. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes. Um, they'll be going around doing interviews with all the vendors, so everyone gets a little bit of a shout out, a little bit of education on the radio, but also um, through what we have with our photographers and with our own mm -hmm. videography skills for the social media and things like that. There'll be a stage where some of the, say, gymnastics or if they're cheer or yes. if they're taekwondo, they're going to be doing um, little shows for everybody to see what they offer them, how they can do it. Uh, I know a couple of the dance companies are going to do a couple of their routines, so there'll be constant wow. um, constant entertainment, music. There's going to be a company with a huge ball pit, so mm -hmm. before you get your face painted, you can go into the ball pit and then go get your face painted. Because <laughs> it's white. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's white. The whole bounce house is white. Mm -hmm. So yeah, any, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but we're going to have... You gotta a, take their shoes off. Yeah, I think we're going to have three face painters. And we've got several bounce houses, so there will be fun for everyone, including the dogs. So, wow! And the Self Defense Academy will be there to do some interaction and some safe play. Um, that's one of the fields that we have had three people register in the self defense area. So I think sometimes with that, we just want to make sure they're kind of spread out through town. We want to have a representation from each part of town. So if people register, um, we always uh, go through the application, discuss you know where we are. You mean to be an advertiser to um, participate right. into the... And that's yeah. what I like to say. It's actually kind of prepaid by our vendors. It's a free event because the vendors pay to be there. They get to advertise their companies and we use that money to market. We use that money to pay for certain things like um, the, the stadium, zoo, the stadium, <laughs> yes. the stadium yeah, food, the signage. Um, and we are sad that at this particular location we can't have food vendors. So yeah. we had to turn down no the food trucks. trucks. Yeah, yeah. Because I asked if Kona Ice could come because they're in the parking lot. She said no. Aww. But you know they have everything inside. So yeah, yeah. I mean they've got cotton candy and and it's not. Rocky's prices, so that's that's good right. too because most people are like, Is it going to be like seven dollars for a bottle of cotton water. candy? Yeah, it's oh, like, No, it's a dollar, it's okay. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> it's a dollar. Okay. So, we're sad we can't support the local. There's a lot of bakery companies that wanted to come out because they support birthday parties, right? Mm -hmm. And they're unable. Um, we did offer to give them a discounted price this year because of the venue so that they could market their products and do a free giveaway on Macaroni Kid. Um, social media beforehand. We haven't had anyone take us up on that, but we're still open to that. So people are welcome to reach out um, via the email, social media, or just register, and then that puts us on the radar so that we can contact them. Do you have any more room for more vendors? Oh, yeah. Or it's it's huge. How many it's more huge. do you think? Um, I would say at least another 75. You could fit 75 more we vendors? We could probably sit, fit 300 in there. If we wanted to, that's awesome. So we're in addition to what you already. Yeah. So we're aiming for two hundred. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God! It would make it an amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it'll definitely be a fun day for everyone to stuff. Yeah. I mean, there's something there for everybody to find. And we're telling, so, we're reminding everyone, don't be a fool and miss out on the early bird discount. That's right. So April Fool's Day is when the early bird discount ends. Okay. So they can okay. get in, save an extra Are fifty dollars. Oh, okay, 20 minutes. Okay, good. <laughs> we wanted to make sure, um, let's see, there's hands-on experience to book your next birthday party, summer break camp, service industry, chiropractic, dental, education, child care, counseling, and uh, tutors uh, that'll be here at the event. Mm -hmm. And then discover your next school for dance, martial arts, swim, and more. Uh, let's see, sponsors and vendor applications now being accepted. Scan the code for the registration form. Actually, I think you can just, um, you it's know, touch right off the website, yeah. all the other advertising. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you can uh, call or text Jen yep. at 720-333-7000. That Again, that telephone number is 720-333-6755. The event is Saturday, May 6, 2023, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at UC Health Park, and the location is 4385 Tut. Boulevard 80922. You can just put that in your Google Maps and it will take you right there. 
The uh, event is uh, Find Your Family Fun, an interactive resource expo for El Paso and Teller County, and also Pueblo County, you think? And the Pueblo um, Macaroni Kid gal is new, and she's actually going to come to the event. Nice. And I'm going to have her at my tables, and so she can kind of start learning the whole thing, but she will um, be acting as Pueblo as well. So. Nice. Nice. Well, that's really awesome because you're helping her organization, too. Mm -hmm. Again, collaboration, mm -hmm. you know, making sure that all of you, um, you know, find the kids. Right. And gotta the find the kids. And the grandparents and the nannies and yeah. babysitters, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and Jen's at a lot of events as well. So I know she has an event on Tuesday, March 28th at Rodeo Dental from 2 to 4. They're having a some kind of a dental fest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then right after that, we're doing a fundraiser at um, Texas, Texas Roadhouse. Roadhouse on Powers Location. Mm -hmm. When is that? Same day, Tuesday, March 28th. Okay. And that um, Texas Roadhouse is the whole time they're open from 3 to 8.30, um, and that is benefiting the Pikes Peak Region Time Banks, and those, that's where we get some of our volunteers, and I volunteer there as well. Um, so anybody that mentions the Pikes Peak Region Time Banks and goes to dinner that night will get 20% um, of their check will go to the charity there, and they help fund the hard costs of events when mm -hmm. we reach out. So we're trying to help raise money so that we can pay for a petting zoo. Um, through that, nice. that's a cost that's pretty expensive. Yeah, the um, zoo is. What yeah. other? And she always has amazing swag. So especially at Halloween, I mean, her booth was like overflowing with swag, and she thought she'd get rid of all of it, but she just had so much stuff. There's no way, unless someone like took a whole box for themselves. <laughs> well, I prepare for like 500 for every because I have a spin wheel, so yeah. it's like every thing is a different. And I, I bought like these skeleton keys and I put a uh, card on it. It says the key to finding your family fun. Well, the moms all wanted those. So they kept taking those. And I <laughs> take them, but I have like toys and, you know, um, candy and stuff for um, like the chores where they get those. Oh, things. yeah. You have yeah, I, those. yeah, I had a lot of. Yeah. Really good stuff. Way too much, but <laughs> I'll be getting rid of it this one, too. So I'm also <laughs> going to, I talked to the Vibes about buying some of their little Toasty is the little mascot dude. So I want to buy like 100 of those to have on my spin wheel so that people can have that, too. So I have lots of prizes at my spin wheel. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. Do you cool. have any other events that you, you're you having a booth at between now and then? No, I was trying not oh, to. Oh, actually, um, April yeah, 1st, I'm trying to convince her to come help me at Pikes Peak Herb Fest, which is on April Fool's Day, um, 10 to 3, at the City Auditorium. Okay. Um, they need kind of a kid zone. They don't have space for my bounce house because it's too big, um, but we can always do something. So What is the Herb Fest? Um, Sarah Beth owns that. Um, she's a Holistic Wellness Society. And um, mm -hmm. she took it over a couple of years ago to another company, ran it for a long time, and they were going to let it dissolve. And she's like, no way. <laughs> she's been running it. It's it's tough to do. So I help her whenever I can. Um, but she's pretty self-sufficient, so she just repeats those that, over and over. That makes me think about something else. Um, do you take volunteers? Oh, yeah, we always need volunteers, especially <laughs> for this event. We yeah. need volunteers. Like, what kind of volunteers? What, what would be a commitment for somebody? Um, coming out to the this event <laughs> okay. and let us, letting us put them to work. So I know my daughter, Doug, we live in Douglas County, but she has to have 40 hours of volunteer time to graduate. So my daughter comes to all of these, and so I just sign off. Oh, so the, anybody who's needing to get volunteer hours. Yeah. I'm actually working. It's kind of funny. Um, Pikes Peak Children's Museum just asked me if I had a section on my web page for volunteers. And I was like, no. And then her and I talked a little bit. And I was like, you know, it's not a bad idea of people that offer volunteering and people that need volunteering. So that's Imagine, kind of a, yeah. that's kind of a, in my wheelhouse right now, having something on my web page that says, do you want to volunteer or do you need volunteers? Yeah. To see, <laughs> to put that on there because, you know, I always ask the community on my social media, it's like, what do you want more of? You know, what is it that you come to my page for? What do you want to see more of? Do you want, because mm -hmm. I've been thinking in my wheelhouse, I've had this birthday corner 
you know, where if you sign up, the kids, it's like, how, do, how does that work? You know, on the beginning of the month, do I give every kid a shout out? Do they, you know, so, mm. you know, just trying to, you know, get a couple yeah. more things yeah, up and running, you know, in, in the mm -hmm. wheelhouse. But Easter is taking a lot of my time, and obviously this event is taking a little bit of my time. So, um, but just a couple things that I've had, you know, in the back of my mind, because I know when summer comes, the big ones are... I always have a guide for mm -hmm. the, um, the the markets. What's the farmers markets? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because we have like yeah. sixty. Mm -hmm. You know, because my territory is so big, and I'll try to break it down. You know, um, that's I'll always a big one. And yeah, that's like that. and like the music in the parks are a big one, mm -hmm. and movies in the park, and so I break all those down and do different guides for those. Gold as well. Hill Mesa has free events. Yeah, here I might get. <laughs> It might be on my calendar. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, I just, you know, I'm just putting them in. Or people, a lot of people are starting to see that you can put any event you want on my calendar for free. I, it's just something that, the whole thing is free. Everything is free. But I have a button that says enter your event. And it comes to me and then I just have to proof it, make sure it's okay. And it's, mm -hmm. it is kid friendly because I actually had somebody come on there once for a, date, for a dating. No, they, oh. I, I was like, oh. Well, not quite. I, I, I don't I know I have single dads on here, but that's not what this is for. Right, right, so you know, right. but it was like she had a whole thing <laughs> running right now and I just laughed, but I was like, Yeah, I can't put that on my page, but thanks yeah. for asking. So yeah. it does come to me first, but um so a lot of people fill that out, which saves me time because yeah. like Chick fil A, she's on there every week. Breakfast with the cow, preschool breakfast, and I mean she does three every week. She puts those in there for me, and I just approve them, and you know we go about our day. Wow. So we're trying to get a couple more companies that have mascots because I want to do a mascot dance off. Oh! So I'm trying to get we have Andy the Armadillo from Texas Roadhouse, and we have obviously the Vibes Toasty. You have the the Bull from Rodeo Dental. The bull from Rodeo Dental, and then who did you just mention? That um, Chick Fil A. They, I don't think they can come to the event, but I told them. I said, "Can you just bring the cow and walk around?" <laughs> um, somebody you just mentioned that said had a mascot too. I can't I forget. Yeah, I can't remember. So I was like, at some point, I want to have them. Oh, go the gutter up. company or the window. Company, that was it. One they are. Yeah, and so I, you know, I'm trying to. Yeah. I think that would just be funny to have yeah. a you know dance off because they can't see you know. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, just just for humor purposes. What about what about the? Uh, well, no, we don't have sky socks anymore. What right. about? Yeah, some of the sports. Yeah, you know, and that's that. Just tell them to come out and have some fun. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna have to contact. Was it Quack Quack the car Anybody? Oh my gosh! Yes. yes. Anybody I saw that when I was who has by. a mascot, please contact Jen. So seven two zero three 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 six seven five five. If you got a mascot or you want to do some volunteering or anything like that, if you want to advertise, get a hold of Jen. This is an amazing organization. There is so much to offer, so much that this community needs. And especially with the economy right now, everything's getting priced off the charts and we need an outlet. You know, we're off of uh, COVID, everybody's able to get out there, summer's coming, and you know, there's mm -hmm. so much love and support and everything that we can offer mm -hmm. this organization, and we should, because if we want to see it continue, as, as you heard, many uh, of the macaroni kids uh, have gone through transitions, mm -hmm. and they have had to close down because of lack of support. Mm -hmm. That's why it is so critical that we do give the support. I mean, time, treasure, and talent, that's what our mission is uh, to, mm -hmm. as far as me. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I know that I want to give back to my community wherever it's needed, mm -hmm. and if I have the skills and the ability. This is my radio show, but I want to get this out to, I mean, just the uh, rags to resilience. If, if I have the ability to interview people that are going to benefit the community, that are going to benefit uh, the organization, Family Flavors, The Slide, WBN, and anything that has to do with our community, I'm all for it. This is, this is my way to give back because I have the ability. Yes. And, and I certainly want to make sure that, that you get everything out there that, that our community needs to, and for yourself. 
I mean, I am so impressed with you, Jan. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I went to your website. I, mm -hmm. I looked around, and I, it's hard for me to believe that somebody single-handedly took this on mm -hmm. and, and gave back the way you have. This is a beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful thing. Well, I would love to just get the community together. I mean, I came from Littleton, and I lived in Columbine, and my daughter, you know, went to school in Columbine, and... I, I, I don't want a tragedy to have to bring the community together, but that community up there in Littleton is amazing. I mm -hmm. mean, and I, I, why can't we have the same thing down here? Mm -hmm. You know, why does tragedy have to strike in that, order for everybody, community. right, yeah. to get everybody together? So, you know, it doesn't have to be a negative turning into a positive. Let's just start right. with a positive and just have it all, you know, on a great note and everybody mm -hmm. out there getting to know everybody and you know we all live here and we all work here we all do our business here we spend our money here we you know and it's like we all need to get to know each other better and we all need to you know be there for each other and just bring this community together instead mm -hmm. of having like she said you know all these little separate entities and everybody's just kind of in their own little pockets mm -hmm. you know it's mm -hmm. Colorado Springs you know let's let's be Colorado Springs and let's talk a little bit more about that the volunteers so we will be um, coordinating those the Girl Scouts have a booth um, they are a nonprofit but they did have a budget so they also paid because they know how important that that right. income is to promoting the event and getting the families there um, but they're also going to let their girls know and the families that work with the Girl Scouts um, so they're going to come early and help the vendors haul their things in or or you know little things like that who knows how much they can carry <laughs> right and then at the end the same thing vendors always need help there's a lot that goes into it um so just that's electrical they, cords and making yeah, sure that they can <laughs> they can yeah. plug in their cell phones when they die <laughs> putting, putting up a tent by yourself is not it's recommended um, <laughs> it you is can break the legs it really should just be two people and it just goes so smoothly and so um if they're you know what right i've got age, 10 tents and about 50 chairs. Amazing. Do you need them? Probably. We would definitely be able to use them. There's a few people that um, don't have tents, and we just think that the tents add a festivity to it. They have to be properly weighted, um, so we would need yeah. that. But um, Shade. if people just come to pick up garbage, yeah. and um, just to Pass be out a friendly waters face, to the vendors. Yes, welcome people, smile. Um, that goes a long way. So that's why our event is greeted. Um, and upon exit, they're thanked for being there. There will be a passport. So if they go to a certain number of vendors of their choice, um, then they get to spin the wheel and earn some um, tickets for the baseball game for whoever else. So oh, wow. again, if Chick-fil-A can't be there, we're hoping that they'll contribute something that on the wheel, maybe we have five of this and once they're all gone, then we take that off the wheel and we add something Slide else. Something so else so they just have to check out when they leave, stop by in the back running kid booth. Give me your little passport, yeah. spin the wheel, and there's going to be some things cool stuff on there. Yeah. How did you get all the ideas? Did, <laughs> you did it! <laughs> that's that's connecting whatever. communities. Yes, yes. and that's, um, you, I have told well, you Well, I have an event you have to do for me. I okay. do a birthday party every yes. year. It's on August 13th. Okay. Hopefully okay. you're available. August 13th. But I always do a customer appreciation yes. family and neighbors. And we usually have about 200 people. Yes. I have a band and a food truck and a nice. jump, jumpy house, slip and right. slide, uh, casino tables and a bartender. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've got three acres and it's down south. Mm -hmm. I need help. Yes, we all need <laughs> help. And that's the thing. I love to help people. You know, I, I try to be a positive know-it-all in all these little zones. And I know the things, but again, even I can't facilitate all those things. So, um, you what know, do you want to hit? Mention something, and then I was. Oh well, I forgot. I was <laughs> <laughs> well, let me go ahead. I guess we got. Oh, got to wrap it up. Okay. Wow. See how fast mm -hmm. that went? Yeah. <laughs> and it was awesome. <laughs> totally. Oh my gosh. Now you're going to be a pro. We'd we'll be uh, like, oh, I got this. Yeah. Here yeah. we go. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready yet? Let's do this. Yeah. Um. This is Family Flavors the Slide, WBN in Colorado Springs. Today, what day is it today? It's the 16th. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it is March 16th. And uh, this is a show with Jennifer Grubb and Samantha Sargent. And I am Tina Swanger, Rags to Resilience. 
Um, I will tell you, I have so much respect for these ladies, and I am so excited to be a part of it. And yes, I will be there, cool. and I will talk to you about volunteering too, because good, I'm going to make sure. <laughs> and you know what? I always volunteered my husband; he'll yes. be there too. <laughs> uh, yeah, my whole family, the kids, they all get volunteered. Yeah, my kids, even my six-year-old. I'm like, you're going here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do for six hours, but you're going. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, let's see. UC Health Park, 4385 Tut Boulevard. This is uh, for the Macaroni Kid. And the Find Your Family Fun Events. Uh, and again, it is May 6th, 2023 from 10 to 3. Yep. Be there or be square. Free, free, free. Free, free, free. free. And uh, what else? What else can I tell you? Phoenix, is he hosting? Huh? Oh, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Let's mention that. Phoenix is oh. going to be our MC. Oh, Phoenix yes. from <laughs> Family Flavors is going to be the MC. Yeah. We talked about it a little bit. So he's the one that's going to go around and interview all the vendors. Yep. So, but we didn't what? mention his specific name. So yeah, he wanted. He really threw all these ideas out there, and of course, Jen said yes to everything because he has. That's his job. He knows exactly what to do. So we're like, Phoenix is, is amazing. House. Phoenix and he's Sage like, are running I'm this like, show. Okay. Have yeah, it. yeah. I'm like, how long he, he's, he's like the whole time. I'm like, he's okay. so shy. <laughs> Phoenix is so shy. I was thinking like two hours, you know. He's like, no, the whole time. He I'm has like, that okay. much energy, huh? Yeah. 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 Like, you can yeah. have it. We were gonna get a radio in a another. Oh, oh. There's one more thing. I've got to do this. Oh. Um. Uh. Three. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> March twenty second, twenty twenty three. There's an uh, oh. homeless, not hopeless. Uh, live video shoot for partners, um, and then when is Phoenix's birthday? Same day. Uh, Same May. day. Birthday? March twenty second, twenty twenty three. Every year. All right. Thank you so much. We got to wrap this up. I'm Tina Swanger, Regs to Resilience, and we are talking with Samantha Sargent and Jennifer. Thank you so much. For Thanks being for having here. us. This so is much. amazing. And uh, find your family fun. I hope everybody comes out. And volunteers and advertises. Mascots. And, and mascots. We need mascots. <laughs> All the <time. laughs> Thank you stuff. so much. Thank you. So, okay. Uh, we are going to stop Facebook Live. Not without dancing. Right. I know. Oh, it's your God. You did it, Jen. Uh -huh. What?